Alright guys, welcome back, and in this video, we're going to be making the very last function that we need. So basically, we created one function to create the object for communication. We created another function to actually communicate with the server. And this last function is going to say, okay, basically, whenever we receive a response from the server, what do we want to do with it? So go ahead and put function, and we already named it up here, handle server response and now it's not going to take any parameters all right now to handle a server response which is basically the server is going to be sending us an XML file as we see right here whenever we get this request it's gonna say okay I'm gonna check if your food is in your list or in your store basically and I'm gonna be sending you back an XML file in between response tags so it sends back an XML file but before we get to you know dicing up the XML file what we want to do is we want to check our object basically for errors and see what state it's in so the first thing we want to do is it's if statement and we're just gonna write XML actually I can just go ahead and copy this we want to check the state of it now state number four, I know I didn't talk to you guys about states and details. State number four is whenever the object is done communicating, you get state number four if the response is ready and pretty much whenever the object is done communicating. That's what I want to say. So if state number four, if the object is done communicating, your little, you know, communication session was over, the next thing I want to do is I want to check something else. We actually want to check the status of that. So, yeah, I'll be lazy and copy this. All right, so if you're done communicating, then go ahead and check the status of it. Now, if the status is equal to 200, and I know this is going to get kind of confusing, but 200 on, on your uh, object, it means that the communication went okay. If this PHP file sent maybe your server was down or maybe it sent an error or corrupted data then this wouldn't be equal to 200 why they decided on 200 I have no idea but 200 means that the communication se session went okay so remember if the communication session went okay then we now have an XML file so let's go ahead and store this XML response in a variable so XML response is equal to this object now has response XML and this is actually a function that was built in pretty much what we're doing is we're extracting the XML that we got from this file right here so now this XML response is basically your XML simple enough so that's how you pull the XML from that now what we want to do is we want to get the document element so um, I'll just name this XML document element and set this equal to XML response dot document element now what the heck is the document element well the document element is basically the root element or the core well it's I think it's technically called the root element of the XML file so remember the XML document element is where we're going to be pulling everything else from so what we are really uh, focused on is this message right here the message in between your two response tags in your XML file so how do we access that well let's go ahead and set it equal to message and set it equal to XML document element which is basically think of it as your document and what we want to do is we want to look at the first child because it's own it's the only child in this document so of course this is the easiest way to access it and set it equal to data now data is basically it gets the data from your XML file so it's gonna be equal to something like this alright so now this message is equal to the data so it's gonna be equal to either enter a food you idiot or um, this message is going to be equal to we do have tuna or sorry punk we don't have or we don't sell no uh, like bacon appetizers or something so basically this message is what we want to put out on the screen so alright so this is basically how you change your HTML file now in HTML 
and this is your HTML file right here the page you're looking at right here is called the document so let's go ahead and access that document dot get element by ID let me go ahead and talk you guys through what we're gonna do real quick now that we got the message from the server what we want to do is we want to take this element right here and we want to set it equal to that message. Mm -hmm.